What's going on guys? Decolation. What's going on peeps? Got Brian back in the shop. And today we're on the Factory 5 hot rod truck. You wanna talk about what why we're not working on oil coolers today? Uh yeah, sure. So we have this uh fine upstanding oil cooler that has and we measured one half NPT uh fittings there. So we ordered a one half NPT to 10 AN fitting and it doesn't screw in. And that's ICT billet. This is ICT billet, so we're pretty sure this is right on. So this was just not machined. Exactly. Because these fittings came with the cooler as well. So maybe it's their proprietary thread pitch. No idea. But we can't really tap that out because then we'll just dump shavings into his oil cooler and that wouldn't be cool either. So this is going to be shelved for another project yeah, or which... another cooling apparatus that we want to use. And we'll just buy another oil cooler. Which means Gary's going to buy another oil cooler. Yes. So, you know that feeling? Uh, I know a couple of you guys comment on it. Like every time it's like, hey, Brian, take off the radiator. Well, the same thing happens to me behind the scene. Gary, go buy this. Damn it. <laughs> it, it, it. That's what this board is actually originally for. <laughs> I mean, we troll <laughs> on the board. Yes, we, we troll on the board. But for the most part, the board was actually originally for just stuff for me to buy man this thing gets away from you but i will say i'm going to be happy when it's done because it's going to be perfect but yes what we are going to work on today is the um we're going to mount the shroud for the uh the grill and we're going to finally um bolt down the um the bed i've got heavy stuff on it because you know plywood likes the bow when you had it when we had it sit on the table for a little bit so it bowed out a little bit so i'm having pressure on there so it's easier not trying to stretch the plywood so yeah but that's been on there for about a week week and a half so yeah we're gonna do that and then we'll see what else we get to that might be what we'll get to with this video it's gonna take a little bit but yeah stay tuned guys <laughs> What's up guys? Brian? What up? So what you guys saw is we got these bumpers on. Um, we aligned them on both sides and everything. It makes the grill sit very nice and flush and looks really, really good. Um, and then we also mounted this little tray at the bottom, which moves a little bit, but once all it's attached to the grill, it's gonna stay. So, yeah, and it's just two rivets at the bottom. But yes, now what I'm about to do 
We have a pretty aggressive rake on our grill. <laughs> I like it. But because of that, I can't get two screws through the bottom of this to keep this nice and held together. So we are going to do one. And if that doesn't hold well enough, we'll do another. But it should hold. Yeah. And then we also marked off the holes for the top of the grill to go through here. Fun. This actually isn't that bad. Yeah, not only does he like the aggressive rake on his radiator, the fact that we can't mount the radiator hose any other way because of the bodywork or the frame also likes the aggressive rake of said radiator. It's good to like what you're required to have. I mean, we could run it without the rake on there, but that would require the radiator hose running under the frame. Yeah, we talked about that a long time ago in a video, and neither one of us are a fan of the lowest part of the car being the radiator hose. Especially not with his overdeveloped right foot. Hey, no, it's not overdeveloped. It's appropriately developed. Yeah. All right, stay tuned, guys, and watch me put some holes in this, and then hopefully the next time we do we talk, this front cowl will be mounted. Still a bit bigger than this. You see that, folks? It's official now. Can no, Brian! No, Brian! All right, welcome back guys. So now, look at this. Cowl is on, solid. That looks so good. Man, Brian, what do you think? We're getting there. It's one less thing to say it's sitting in the box over there, so we're all right. Yeah, no joke. Now, mount the wood bed. Yeah, see if we can get done in the next 25 minutes or so before I have to go to my fancy schmancy class. Uh, you're going to laugh how quickly this is going to get done. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah, so we're going to uh, mount this wood bed and get it going. Stay tuned.
All right, welcome back, guys. Brian, how's it look, man? It looks good. Nice and almost sturdy. Like, almost like we planned it that way. Yep. The bed's not going anywhere. The wood bed is nice and secure. Not, not moving. And there's going to be something up here. Should I tell them? Let them wait. Let them wait. I'm going to let you guys wait. But there'll be something up there. Because you still got to make that happen before we can that is true. get their hopes up. That is true. I'm gonna make it happen though. That's it's easy. I mean, I've already done it. <laughs> the look at his face was like, Shh. no, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that later. Um, but yes, we got this nice and secure. This is going nowhere. That is perfect. I'm ecstatic. And it's these five bolts right here at the end are riv nutted in, so this won't go anywhere. Yeah, but I think we did a lot for today. You think so? Yeah, I think we did. All right. We got some stuff actually done. We didn't just like start something and be like, hey, you know what? Okay. If we don't finish this today, that's another day we don't have to sand fiberglass. <laughs> that's what it's boiling down to, people. It, 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 it's getting dangerous. Should it take an hour to tighten one of these screws? No. But will it so I don't have to sand fiberglass? Yes. <laughs> Don't let them lie, it wasn't an hour. You know that, that little the video of that kid taking like 15 minutes to go from third to home base while the coach was trying to push him? It's gonna be me putting these screws in. <laughs> or when I go to put the screws in to put the, the little gas tank cover on. Yeah, we gotta do that. Maybe we work on that tomorrow because I'm not gonna get what we the cooler by tomorrow. Yeah, because then we can very carefully undo this. That's the other thing with rib nuts, people. You know, minimize the amount of times you un take undo it apart. And, and do them unless you buy some really super expensive stainless steel ones or whatever. Yeah, because you you can mar the threads pretty easily, but just be careful. That's why you saw us lift up the wood bed a second time and widen the holes on the bed uh, on the metal part, just because we don't want to mar them up again. But yeah, it looks great. But I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, if you like this type of content, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, comment down below, tell me what you think, and hit that like button. And Brian, tell them. Off to do some Python programming. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. Peace.